So that is more or less it. I've got my interaction punches, I've got my sound, I've got my um, calculations and everything. So the final thing we want to do is bring it into the game and test it out. So I'm going to go save, I haven't dragged it down, configure, two words, two words. Uh, again, this manual thing is not quite the official build yet. Oh, before I do that, I'm just going to get a preview image. Now, the way I do this is I'll hit play. I'll go get one that I like the look of, like that. Make sure I'm not highlighting it. Command shift three, or in PC's case, it'd be print screen. So that will save that to my desktop, where I'll go in and I will draw around it like that. Control C, Control N, Control S for save, and then module preview. This is the thing that's going to show up on the workshop as the module's icon. I then generally leave that just in my assets folder loose right there. Come back in, it's going to import that in. You need to tweak some settings on the module preview. So you're going to need to go read write enabled, having selected it, read write enabled, and then come down to compression and set that to none. Hit apply. Go back to configuring your mod. Hit the little circle and then go module preview. Now, if it's bigger than a megabyte, which it occasionally is, if it's quite a busy looking design, then you'll need to compress it. And I normally just put that through PNG crush or something like that, just to make it make it a bit smaller. I could do that anyway, um, to reduce that size, but it seems to be accepting that as it is. So I'm going to go T words once again, save, and then build, which, as you remember, is build asset bundle. I'm going to go function F6 to build it in this way. There we go. It's going to spit it out to the build folder from where I can copy it and drag it into my directory. Mods, paste. Let's get the zoom as well. Oops. Copy it again. Copy and paste. And let's fire up the game. Let's see if we can do just three of them for now. Some sort of manual is close to hand. I don't know where the manual is at the moment. Uh, does it end there? Um, where do I put the manual? There it is. It's going to crash the tank because there's too much going on. There we go. Oh, good, it's managed it. Just about. Right. There's my manual. There's my bomb. And there we go. That seems to be okay. So let's see if we can actually solve this now. Now, the thing that Ash and I were talking about last night in the font sizes and stuff, um, that's... Um, I think that looks ever so slightly grainy when it's zoomed out. Putting it at 144 does serve to slightly alleviate that. Um, but as I pointed out, it does make it massive as well. So it's a sort of personal preference. So we're going to zoom in just to make sure we can see that. I might change that back actually. I'm uh, just thinking about it now. So let's start off. Are there One of the bonuses about this is that more or less, apart from possibly the LEDs making a difference, it's going to be the same for every bomb. If there are more than four batteries, there are not, so we move on. If there was an unlit bob, I did see one of those, and the LED is not green. So none of the LEDs is, um, are green, and there is an unlit bob. So this one is a column we're going to use every time, which is nice. Makes this a lot easier for us. So my words are Terpiscorian, Tellurian, Tango Receptor, and Tellurometer. Um, this is quite hard, actually. Terpiscorian, let's find that. Terpiscorian is there. Tellurian, 
is there, that's convenient for us. It's right above it. Circus Corian and Tellurian. Tango Receptor is right above that. And then Tellurometer is I've got two of the same word. No, I can't have. Terpiscorian is there. Oh, Tellurian. Tellurian is there. Tellurometer is there. They are literally, I've got four, one after the other. How about that? So it's Tango Receptor. Tellurian. And notice the interaction punch. Uh, Tellurian. Terpiscorian. And there we go. That's a solved module. Let's do the next one. Tabernacle, which is there. Tatadamalian. Okay, so that's the first. So we know Tatadamalian is going to be first. Tenderometer. And tablature. Uh, tablature is right, so going to be a tenderometer. And then tablature is going to be last, because tabernacle is there. And that's correct. And finally, this one over here, tachigraphy, uh, which is right at the bottom, tellurian, which we've already had, oh, there we go, so that's what it looks like in the dark, and you can see that light really working there, so that looks really quite cool. A little glowy effect for us. Uh, right, tachigraphy, tellurian was in the middle. And then tenderometer and tortocrosis. Uh, tenderometer is there and tortocrosis. Tenderometer and then tortocrosis. Tenderometer, tortocronus rather. And then tellurian. And there we go. Nice simple little module. And that all seems to be working okay. What we're going to do, just to check everything, is all um, hunky dory and handy dandy. Is we're going to go to the uh, log file analyzer and just have a look at this log file that we've created. Oh, is it OBS? We don't know OBS. Ah. Put that there. Um, Directory uh, log file player.log. <coughs> drag and drop that to there. Now, the filtered log is not working. This happens sometimes, and that has to be tweaked at the, um, at the, at the repos end. That's nothing I can do anything about. But we can just go in and check that everything is recorded. The ADD is red. The correct column is number two. Chosen words, correct order, tablature. Maybe it's purple. From top to bottom, uh, correct order is. So it's going to log everything at the beginning and then our responses. Okay, that looks like it's all working and in grand order. Um, so there we go. That's uh, that's how to make a module in <laughs> three easy steps. It's like more than three, but um, I'm going to go back and have a little play with the. Um, getting the sounds to work because that, that's annoyed me that I've not been able to do that but again it's for basic sounds I hope you've got enough information there to work with. Um, the last thing I'm going to show you is uh, getting it all set up and into the right um, thing for the uh, the, 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 um, the bundle to, to handle. So we've got a manual I've already got my HTML manual there which if I open it up you see it's just an empty uh, a blank Thing at the moment, but that is the um, the thing that they want on the repo. Incidentally, this is a stage where actually people in the Discord will be able to help you out. You don't necessarily need a discrete tutorial from me on how to do this, um, but I'll, I'll just go through it briefly. Um, what we need is a PDF of that. So in Chrome, you can just go Control P. Make sure your settings are up at letter, not A4, but letter. Save as PDF and then save. You can create the image, or, so, or you can ask someone to do it. There's loads of people who are always more than happy to create images. I find that part fairly tedious, so um, I try not to do them if I can help it. Save that as T-words. Close it down. 
And then inside our, um, uh, our directory here, we're going to go to manual, not assets, but manual, PDFs, modules, and then drag it into there. Um, I'm just going to check if it's supposed to have the full title there, PDFs, manages. No, it's just called text frames. Um, it doesn't really matter what that's called because that's only used for the most, as I say, most people use it for the repo and it's been listed separately there anyway. Um, but once that manual page is in there, you're just about ready to upload. And uploading is really, really easy. Uh, what I'm going to do is just build it one more time so it's going to contain the manual within the build, function F6. Um, I've already gone through how to configure the mod already. You've got your module preview right there, uh, your version 1.0, your ID, your title, and so on. Once you're happy with that, uh, and again, this is just a, a quote that I do. I'm not actually going to upload it because I'm going to do a couple of fine-tuning points before I do that. Uh, you're going to want your build notes because you do need to give it some build notes before you upload it. And in this case, I'm just going to call it initial release. Incidentally, for this point, Steam needs to be open to upload it to the workshop. You can't upload it to the workshop if Steam is closed. And once you've uploaded it to the workshop, you won't be able to um, access the game until you close Unity. Because the way this works, it, it tricks the game into thinking that this becomes an instance of Steam, so it won't run the game while Unity is still open. So we go right there. If that has got a number in from a previous model, you just clear it out and set it to zero, and it will give you one when you upload it. Make sure your title is there as well, uh, which is going to be either T-words or on the subject of T-words. Your change notes go in there, and then it's as simple as clicking Create New Workshop Item and Publish to Steam. That's literally all there is to it. You click that and ping, it'll fire it up, and it'll be all done there in the workshop. Once it's in the workshop, um, like I say, I'm not going to actually show you that now because I'm just going to go into Steam and... Um, uh, and, and make some more tweaks before I do. But there's a jack o' lantern, my most recent one that uh, the manual by Legend. When you get there, there are a few changes. I like to add images, add edit images, and that's, that's just a load of screen grabs from within the game just to show it off. I always include the module preview there as well. That's where your module preview will be displayed, um, so it's your main picture of it. Uh, but the important one that you want for this is change visibility. Once it up, once it's up, the default will be hidden and no one will be able to see it and no one will be able to access it. You want to change that once you're sure it's ready to public and then it will ping it directly to the Discord and you'll be um, world famous. And there will be your, your workshop. So that's my current workshop. Um, even at 30 a page, I'm now onto two pages worth of stuff. But it, it really is very, very straightforward uploading it to Steam. So I'll go through that one more time just to uh, make sure you've, you've all got it. Once you've configured it and built it, you've got the PDF manual into the right place. Keep talking mod kit, Steam Workshop tool, set that to zero. That one should be a T word. And then description in there automatically copies that over. Paste something into your change notes and hit create new workshop item and publish to Steam. And poof, up it goes. And that is all there is to it. Seems really simple when I say it like that, doesn't it? Um, Oh, let's put the camera back on and get rid of those. And put the flash back up as well. So that's the end of the tutorial on how to get started with modding and C Sharp in Unity. Hopefully there was something there that was of use to you, even if you're a seasoned modder and you know what you're doing with it. Um, sometimes it's quite useful to have a refresher and a different perspective of how it works. Um, if you're brand new to modding, I'm hoping that you're able to take something away from that. Um, and again, these will be on, on YouTube, so you can go back and reference them later on. And I'm always happy to take questions if you want to um, either send me an email or um, send me a message in the Discord. I'm always happy to, to hear from people and to help people out who are, who are struggling with stuff. Um, this module is going to go um, live in the workshop probably in the next half an hour or so. So uh, do grab it and have a, have a little play with it. Mm -hmm. uh, my phone is texting, uh, so I'm going to need to look at that in a minute. Um, and again, any any questions, um, then yeah, send them send them in my direction. Hopefully you've enjoyed that. Hopefully you've found it useful. Um, and uh, yeah, I look forward to seeing some of your mods in the near future in the workshop. But for now, uh, thank you very much for tuning in. Uh, keep your company, and I will see you another time.